Hey, what's going on guys? Sub here, and I'm back. It has been a whole two weeks. Oh, I did not mean to break that. It's been a whole two weeks since I have made videos. Well, I guess besides that one video. But anyway, we are here in my redstone testing world in what I hope you guys realize is an AFK fish farm. Except it's kind of, well, yes, in simplest terms, this is an AFK fish farm completely buffed out to the maximum level. So, as you can see, we have sorted chests and a bunch of unsorted chests. These unsorted chests just the random stuff you get. Enchantment books, fishing rods, nautilus shells, that stuff. So, I guess I, I'm not going to explain it immediately and show you how to build it on this later. But right now, I'll give you an example. So, I'm not actually going to go fishing right now because I'm lazy. But let's say you're fishing and you fish up an enchantment book, that, some nautilus shells, maybe some fish, because everyone loves fish. Some fishing rods, some puffer fish, some, I almost said clownfish there, which honestly it should be. So, you fish up all that stuff while you're AFK fish farming. This is just the standard AFK fish farm for 1.14. By the way, this is only 1.14 and above. This is, it's not impossible to do in the other versions, it would just be extremely annoying to do. So, I don't know exactly how long this takes, we can watch right here though. So... I, I honestly didn't actually check if it fully works yet, but um, this is like the test. So if you just watch this, some items are going to pop out. Maybe. Actually, no, I want to show you this thing immediately. <laughs> oh, boy. So you guys like it? <laughs> My AFK fish farm. Alright, well, one, this is stop going. That's already bad. Um, any of these furnaces going? Yes, but the bamboo's not in it. Alright, hang on. I forgot that I didn't have this going. Hang on. Let me just chuck some bamboo into the system here. Alright, there we go. Yep, so as you can see... Stop flying. It is being smelted. Why is there cobblestone in here? I don't know what happened. Oh no. I fear something as horrible has happened. Oh boy, something horrible has happened. Okay. I, I honestly didn't think this would work because I never tested it. Basically, I'm going to do my best to explain it here. You have an AFK fish farm, and all the items from it go into this chest. This chest is the input chest for an item sorter. Pretty easy build. So, right here, these two are supposed to be sorting the cod and salmon out, putting them into these chests, where they're getting taken by this hopper minecart and put into the top half of the furnaces. The other items are just getting put over here and sorted into puffer fish and tropical fish, then putting, then getting put into a water stream and just putting in their chests, because you can't really do anything with those. And then for all the random items, they're supposed to be going to this chest, put into another water stream, which comes out on this side and goes to those chests. Alright, it's pretty simple enough. That's essentially how this works. And all the stuff smelted from the furnaces is also going into its respective water streams, and is being put into this. Now, I'm pretty sure I messed up with the item sorter. That's fine. For now, I'm going to actually show you guys how to build this. So, we're going to go over here. And th this is by far one of my biggest builds ever. This is far enough away, actually. So, we're going to go high up, just because we can. And you always want to start with a good, solid... AFK fish farm. Don't ask what I'm doing. It's hard to build in the sky. Alright. Note block. Trap door. Fence. Pre That's not how you spell pressure plate. Water. And then hopper. And then chest. There we go. So note block's there. Then right here we just need a slab of any kind that's fine actually 
Then we're going to have a chest just right here. Well, see, I'm kind of bad with flying, so you guys aren't allowed to get mad. So we have this part. Then what we want here is we want the trapdoor, pressure plate. There we go. There's that. Then what we want to do is we want to waterlog that. But because waterlogging is annoying, it's going to have us do this like so. Now the water. Should be flowing down here. Yeah. So, if I get a fishing rod really quick, this is our AFK fish farm. And this is honestly the nice part. So, you stand here, you can stand back a bit as well. You fish, you get the stuff, it goes into the hopper. Simple enough. Now, for the next step, you have a chest. This chest is the input chest for an item sorter. Now, I build my item sorters, I need to have a good bit of room. So, first off, I need to have that. But I also need to have that. Because with item sorters, you cannot have it face in a direction. You have to have it... You can't go down, basically. You can't. So then, I think it's three hoppers for one line. Yeah, there we go. So, now... You simply build the item sorter, which is pretty simple. Once I grab the components. <laughs> Alright, so I can just get rid of some of the stuff I got on me. That's two repeaters. I need a comparator. Alright, comparator. Uh, block. So, torch. Repeater. Then you just have... It like this. So, there's your item sorter. The sorter item will go in here. Let us grab the raw cod. We can do that for the first one. Let's let me also grab the raw salmon because we need one for those. And then we just need, I guess, an item that will never come out of an auto fisher. It has to be that, or just a named item, period. And then you're going to want to have 11 of that item in here. So basically what happens, another salmon will go into this hopper, and because there is room in this hopper for a salmon, it will take it, and how this works, if, it's, if I add one more item, it is going to take the, fir the item in the first slot. So if I add one cobblestone, salmon's gone. That's why you want to keep it at 11. And then it will go down to these hoppers, which will put it into a chest. Simple enough. Right, guys? Easy and simple and you kind of do have to have two chests, but you can just have one. Because, you know, just one. Anyway, now we just have to basically build that same thing uh, again. Which, honestly, is not that bad. So, the only thing we have to do here that's annoying is this. Hoppers cannot be going down. That is very important. Alright. Simple. Simple. Super simple redstone here, guys. If you cannot figure this out, I'm sorry, but this is literally the easiest thing to build in Minecraft. Okay, that's a lie, but, you know. Uh, there we go, there's that. Cod. Alright, so those are getting sorted. They're being put into these two chests. That's the first part of this thing. Although, I guess if you wanted, we could add the other item sorters as well. For the other stuff. So, let me just... Let's see there are two other kinds of fish so that's all we need and then we want to have a chest here for all the excess stuff nautilus shells enchanted items all the non stackable objects basically and then I just got to build the item sorters one at a time that's the wrong direction. There we go. Like that. One more time. And then this is all the item sorters that... Actually, no. You have to build 
two more item sorters, and then you have the machine. So this is the first half. Let me just grab a was it the puffer fish and the tropical fish. Yeah, they go in here. So puffer fish. Uh, it's ten, eleven. There we go. I said puffer fish when that was tropical fish. All right, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so all the item stores are set up. It's sorting them into their respective things. Tropical fish, puffer fish, cod or salmon, salmon or cod. I don't remember which order I put them in. Which doesn't matter. So, and then the extra stuff's getting here. So that's the standard item sorter hooked up to an AFK fish farm. That's, that's it. And it has to be this big. I honestly wish it didn't. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to be this big. I haven't actually tested it without it, but if you want to mess around with other item sorters, you can. This is just the one I'm going to be using. Alright, so, for the next part, this one is a little bit more expensive and annoying. I say annoying because you need mine cards, so those things are always annoying. So, what we're going to want to do is have hopper from these two going into nothing. Okay, so, what we have to have is our minecart now. Now you can just have two furnaces, but if you want it to go faster, you can add more. I will add a easy furnace system. You can put furnaces on the ends, I'm just doing iron blocks to mark the corners. Makes it a lot easier for me. Alright, so there's that. Then the next part, as I'm sure you've noticed from the other one, is to get the redstone in place and then grab the powered rails and the regular rails. Make sure to place all these rails down first, and that is that. So, how this works is the hopper minecart will take the raw fish and raw salmon sorted into these two chests, and it'll put them into the top half of the furnaces, which only leaves the other question, where to get the fuel. Now, to put fuel in furnaces, you need hoppers in the backs of them. And this, I just realized I messed this up. <laughs> okay guys, I actually made this mistake first making it. We need one down, and then hopper. Now I want to build this to save the most resources, so. This is it. Well, I do too. You can do what I just did on a bigger scale. I can't believe I messed that up again. The amount of times I have messed up building that is honestly kind of insane. Alright, here we go. And if I just do... Stop it. There we go. I believe I have to do something like this because Minecraft is super annoying with that. Uh, not that. Wait, no. What am I saying? What am I doing, guys? I just completely lost my train of thought, which is kind of bad considering this is a redstone video. But basically, uh, that design won't work because the Hopper Minecart does not put things into Hop into the furnaces, it has to be on top of hoppers. So, to save time, I'm just going to do two. You can make this bigger if you want to. Easy peasy. And then, like I said before, you need to have hoppers along the back to make sure that your system works. And because this is a... we need fuel, we're going to have it go over here. Now, here where you have to have an input. Now actually, let me do this on the other side because I don't think you noticed, but the main problem with the first one, the bamboo farm conflicted with the item sorter and I didn't have enough room, so that's why it's kind of not as organized. So let me just put it on this end. We can just place a red, actually that's already powered from the above redstone blocks. Alright, you don't have to use redstone blocks if you want to power this a different way, do it however you want. 
You, it just needs to be powered. So, right here, you're going to have our bamboo farm. Now, what needs to happen here is you have bamboo. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me place a block there just in case uh, water becomes water and is annoying. So, if I do that along with this, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, hang on. I have been away for two weeks. My building skills are not the best, but I built <laughs> that earlier today, so I think they're fine. Yeah, so the water reaches, it ends there. Perfect. So what's going to happen here, guys, is something super simple. And by the way, if you think you have to build this out of iron, I'm sorry, but you don't. Don't waste your iron. So what we need to do here is we need to grab some, not water, some dirt, and we're going to put... Now, four bamboo is used to smelt one item, meaning you need a lot of bamboo. But bamboo grows pretty fast, and you're not going to be getting fish every single time. So, make this bamboo farm as big as you want. You don't need it too big. The bamboo is only being used to power stuff. I'm just going to build one row here because I'm lazy and don't want this video to be too long even though this is a gigantic build. There we go. So, bamboo, it grows to be 20 blocks tall. It's not very important to this because we're just going to be treating it like a sugar cane. Now, to power the pistons, I actually quickly want to make a look. What did I do over here? I made it super overly complicated. That's what I did. Okay. So, how this works is we're going to make sure it gets tall, and we're going to place the bamboo in last, but for now, this is all we need. I could have done two rows here, but I decided not to. If you want to use glass, by the way, to make check on your build here to make sure it's working, be my guess, it will work perfectly fine. So basically the bamboo is just going to get chopped up by the piston, it's going to be shot forward, hits the glass, falls down, lands here, where we're going to have our hopper minecart going back and forth. So the hopper minecart will pick up all the dropped bamboo from here, put it into the bottom half of the furnaces, which will fuel the furnaces, and whenever we get raw fish, it will smelt in the furnaces. I have not put the minecarts in yet, we can do that later. So, uh, the next part here is actually managing to power these things. Now, I am not the best with redstone, and I am telling you this now, so that's pretty important. I am not the best. So, let me grab the repeater. There are many different ways to power pistons. I am doing it the odd way, the way that I know works best for me. So if you feel like you can do this better, be my guest. You don't have to build this my way. If you know different ways, this is basically me combining a bunch of components, by the way, guys. It's not just a set build, like it has to be built this way. Like the one tick farms, no, 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 no. You can do this any way possible. So, final step, have the observers in. And as you see, whenever it detects the bamboo has grown, it will activate the pistons which will chop down the bamboo, but leave the first slot so we can go. Now, I will set the random tick speed up at the end to demonstrate this build, but not right now. So, the next part is since we have it all fueled and going into things, we need to actually get it back up to your area, because you're not going to want to go down from there. No, you're going to want to stay in your area. So. You can build your area however you like, just know that it's going to be more expensive the farther apart the chests are. So, let's have one chest right here. There we go. Four different kinds of fish. So that can be our four different kinds of fish. And then maybe go back over here and just have one double chest for our good friend of the valuable items. Well, they're not always valuable, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? So, from this chest, we're going to have to grab a dropper. We have the comparators, the repeaters, all the redstone we need. We also are going to need some water. 
some soul sand, and that's basically it. So, we're going to have a hopper at the back of each of these. Actually, we have to place these one apart just to make sure that the items don't interfere with each other. That would be bad, which also means I'm going to be moving this over one. So, bear with me for a second while I set this up. You can't have them next to each other. If you want to combine it all just into one big chest up here, that's fine. But I like having my stuff sorted. For all you redstone people, I'm sure you get how it is. Also, I will be starting up a solo survival series. The realm somehow is ending in two days. I honestly thought it would be done by now. So, if you guys like what you're seeing here, I will be building a bunch of stuff like this. Iron Golden Farms and all that. So, how, what we want here is... I guess we can just grab some slabs really fast. There we go. And this is what's going to happen. We're going to have a water stream that will push the items into the hopper right here. Now, if we go over here, we need a dropper level with this. But see, the hopper will be here. So yeah, we can do it right here. Pretty simple. Now, you can build these as big as you want. You want to have a million people AFK fish farming at once, yes. Also, if you are playing Skyblock and think that building an AFK fish farm is a good idea, don't. Do not build an AFK fish farm in Skyblock. It's bannable. I I've never personally gotten banned from it, because I never played Skyblock and was smart enough. Well, no, I have a Skyblock series, but... You, you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean. So basically... Did I build this right? You can have another dropper with a water stream going over here. If you want to just replace all these hoppers, you can just basically build the same dropper system and add a water stream to bring it over here. You don't have to use hoppers like I am. If you want to, you can though. So I actually think I placed this wrong. So hang on. I have to be able to have three inputs from it. Let me make this a single stream, actually. We don't need this double stream. It's kind of dumb. Waste materials. So let me just remove that part. And there we go. Simple. All right. So the reason I wanted to do that is for a few reasons. One, we need to build a system like this. Uh, comparator, repeater, me failing and flying, and then we just want to add this with that. This is the main system. So what happens is, let's say I throw in 16 cobblestone. This sets off a auto circuit. The comparator detects when there's items in here, sends signal to this, which then loops back to that. So as long as there's item in here, it's going to be looped. As you notice, there's no items. They've all been shoved on the ground. Perfect. Now... We just got to make sure we got the correct items going in the correct spots. And that's showing that. And I'm sure all you are familiar with uh, the water mechanics from 1.13. If you're not, uh, I honestly don't know how you've missed all that. Now, one of the most important things here, putting a buffer on top so that your items will come through. Now, because items will shoot up and out of your system if you're not careful. Now... Actually, I should probably make these stairs. That way, you know, you don't have any items flying over the top. But there we go. All the items that are special will go in there. Now, I haven't... Did I... I I'm already forgetting if I set all these up. Yeah, I did. So, if we do this right, let me just grab... Let's say you fish up a fishing rod. Throw that down. It's going through the system. And look, this just activated. Did... I don't know what just happened there. There we go. That activated. It went in the water stream. And if we check this chest, fishing rod right there. So, once again, went through the item sorter. Wasn't any of the fish, so wasn't sorted. Went to the dump chest, basically. Got put into our dropper water system. And got pushed to the goodies chest. Now... If you were looking for big projects, this honestly is kind of expensive and big. 
it's kind of both those things. But it's, I wouldn't say it's worth it. I wouldn't. I've never had this in survival. It's probably not worth the resources unless you AFK fish a lot. Because it is very expensive. Now, let me just put in the hopper mine carts. There we go. They are going back and forth. The bamboo farm is growing. And now for the final part. Fish. So, these two we'll start with. Because they're honestly the easiest. We have systems like this. Alright, so... Actually, that hopper minecart's going to take out of that one. Uh, yeah, shorten that by one. There we go. Now it's only going over the stuff we want it to. So, we're going to have you up in here. So we're going to have this stuff. The, which one's this? The tropical fish. Uh, I suppose we can really make any of them tropical fish. We're basically going to just do the same dropper system with each of these hooked up to the hopper. Now, the only next difficult part, really, the most complicated next part, is building the next item sorter. Because after your stuff's smelted, it's not going to be sorted. you got to re-sort it. So, you can just have a general chest for the cooked food, uh, if you care that much. Uh, you don't have to. It's just something that will be very helpful. Let me just quickly grab all that. There we go. And then, I'm just going to yeah, no, I can just grab it. Inventory, soul sand water. There we go. Alright, so. We need to bring this one over. I guess. Here. Actually, let me make these. Yeah, these first two can just be the puffer fish and puffer fish. Easy and simple. And this is already looking a lot less messy than that. That was kind of like a test. Alright, so. What we need soul sand with the dropper. There we go. This is honestly one of the more annoying parts. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to move where the dropper is exactly. Let me put the dropper right here. Same with this one. Actually, you you probably could have stayed where you are. I just need to make sure I have enough room that the stuff can get in and this can activate. So stuff is going to be imported through there. So the issue is I need two sides like this. I need the comparator. Not that yet. Repeater, repeater, all the redstone, and this. Easy and simple, it will get pushed onto the water stream. We all know this already. And then the hopper, it can come through here, which is pretty level. Uh, see, now, like I said, you can use water streams. You could have built this down more. I made that mistake of not actually doing that. So the items will go in here, and it'll do the same thing generally. We don't, I might not build this water stream actually. If you wanted to, you could. Although I guess having this finished would be pretty nice. So, simply build up. And I'm building out of iron because it looks cool. That's the only reason I'm building out of iron. So, I know a lot of new people. A, a lot of new people. What am I saying? Many new people are coming back to Minecraft. And some people playing for the first time. Because it's gotten a lot more popular. Kids have been growing up playing Fortnite. We need to end that right now. Season 10, this is the final season of Fortnite, hopefully. And no, I have not played it recently. <laughs> not going back on my channel. We're not going back to making Fortnite videos. <laughs> Those were pretty bad, honestly. So, I need a hopper line now. Now, I wish I planned building this better. Because now I have to build a giant hopper line like this, guys. <laughs> So, let me go like this. Now, like I said with the water, replace these hopper streams with water. I'm doing hoppers to speed this up. You can use water streams like with the bamboo, which would just change the elevation, but that's not much of a problem. Uh, by the way, neat trick, if you do want to build this in survival, 
uh, instead of placing all the water sources yourself, I recommend using kelp. Place one water block just at the top, and then fill the rest with kelp. And I can actually show you that with this, because it will make every water block a source block. Neat trick with kelp. Hopefully that's they, they don't remove that, because that's one of the best uh, kelp uses, honestly, building these. So... Just to prove my point, we're going to build this water stream really fast. And then we're going to build the final part of this machine. This is the much more refined version. So, we put one water bucket at the top like this. It's going to flow both directions. You're going to grab kelp, and I'm going to spell correctly. I've not been on a computer in two weeks. Uh... Well, I suppose the last thing... Okay, hang on. I messed up here. <laughs> to place kelp, you need this. There's no redstone on the floor right now. This. Alright. goes all the way up. And as you can tell, these should all now be source blocks. I place down the soul sand. There we go. All source blocks with a single water bucket. I was just using the water bucket because faster. But, yeah, definitely easier over there. Now we have our two last streams over here, which is where our smelted items are going to be. So I personally just want to grab some salmon and cod and throw... I didn't want to throw all of them into the system, but I guess now they're all in the system. Just checking to make sure it works. Cod's going down. Is it ending up in the dump chest? What's happening here? I see it go in and out. Did I put too much in at once? Now the sorter is broken. And this is why you don't put large quantities of items in at once into item sorters. Let me grab the stairs and let us fix this mistake. In here, and there's fish, I swear. So the bamboo is in. Well, good news, I found out what happened. The minecart's broke. Oh boy, aren't I the best at Minecraft, guys? Whatever. This will collect the fish. It's putting it into the minecart, which is getting put into the furnaces. I don't, I'm trying to... Hang on. We can just have something like that. So what should be happening is we're getting fish into the stuff. So if I put a stack of fish in there, just some fish in. Yeah, so the item sorter has broken, and I don't know why. This shouldn't be happening. I don't know why it is.
This is... I'm gonna just leave it at 10. I think I probably might have built this wrong. Maybe, too, I think too much fish was going in at once. So I'm just gonna half what we had in there. And that should fix the problem, guys. I'm sorry. Also, I'm just gonna place in these extra chests just to make sure the item system's going. So. Fish is not going through. Did they change it so that hopper minecarts do no longer go work like this? Um, okay, so I don't know what's really happening here, but for the time being, we're just going to have it like this. I think my game might be glitching out a bit. I'm very confused. Okay, but <laughs> besides this, uh, for some reason, not working, uh, smeltery, this honestly should be working. I do not know why it's not. But as soon as I remove the redstone... Okay. Yeah, alright, so I think it was the redstone blocks there. I do not know why that's been happening. But, uh, yeah. It should be working now. Also, redstone blocks do not work as blocks for that. Let me just quickly... Swap this out. That's not what I meant to do. Oh boy, I am not the best. This was working earlier. I swear. Alright, there we go. The bamboo goes in. The fish is in. That's working perfectly. Let me just chuck a bunch of bamboo down. Like so, it starts smelting. And I guess the added bonus of the hoppers is that we don't need to re-item sort it. We will always get caught out of that and that out of that. Alright, so. Next part, adding the last water streams. So. This, let me just grab, I guess, spruce wood. I just want to make sure I know where I'm bringing these. Do we have these stuff to build? We do. Maybe. Um. This might be a problem. I think I have to bring the water streams out of it, guys. Like that. Okay, so. Final thing, we just add the final two water streams. For this, and then we're good. So, where do I need to bring these? Now these are going to be further down than the other streams. Because of the fact that they are attached to these. So, if we go over here, we will place down the soul sand, then... Let me just grab the comparator, the redstone, the repeater, the dropper, and all the components we really need. Now with this, what I'm going to do is have one in the front and one on the side here. Like so, then I'm... Oh, I'm switching up the blocks we're using now. Alright. Repeater. Comparator. Repeater. Redstone's in. There we go. And here we are with the first one. Now, it doesn't really matter which, what you use to get it over there. I'm using hoppers, like I've said before. And my horrible sense of direction to guide me. 
So, there we go. Items will be put in here. And I probably shouldn't have put in this up. But as you can tell, it is working because we are getting hooked caught. Now, the last thing for this to finish the water stream. And then, this is the finished cook cod machine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that's nine. Okay, so, uh, quick fix. We are going to grab blue ice and a slab and a water bucket. There we go. Water cannot travel that far, and I have to do that just to make sure that we are getting the right stuff. Here we go. Alright, so the stuff that will come out, it will slide under there, and it is going into the chest like so. Let me just throw that in. Yep, everything's working. I just need to build this last one, and then we're good. Now, I'm actually going to switch which side we have this on, just because I need to actually get the hoppers over here. Uh, also, good to note, these are uh, not dispensers, these are droppers. Uh, I think, like, over here. Alright, there's the other one. Now, I'm going to build a water stream first this time, so we are not having ourselves full of items. Now, I need to actually be able to access two sides of this. So, hang on. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> For some reason, there is bamboo going into this one. That's fine. Free bamboo. Alright, so. Build up here. We have the same problem, I guess. So. Easy fix. Now, you can use any kind of ice. I'm using blue ice just to make it faster. Because blue ice is the fastest kind of ice. And I assure you, this is not on any other channel, this machine. Because no one is dumb enough to build this. Besides me. I'm the weird one. Okay. that bubbles are not fully reaching I messed up somewhere all right there we go now it is fully working we just add the system right here and then this is the finished product I've finally built something all right it's taken a long time here uh Damn it. There we go. Stuff is going in. Let me just do slash clear. So, as you can see, the fish is all going into its respective things. Some raw cods mixed in from uh, me throwing items around. There we go. Fix that. Now. I'm not chucking in a million things again, because that was a horrible mistake, as I'm sure many of you know. So, we know the fish is working. Let me just throw in a few of these, along with some, I guess, we can throw in some enchanted books, because you fish up these all the time. There's two missed from fishing. Well, not all the time, but you get a good bit if you have K-Fish. So the tropical fish one, the puffer fish one's going. The miscellaneous item one, I have not seen go. Uh, that means the item sort of messed up. I forgot to do the fix with it.
then for this one go that means the enchanted books might have been lost into the system somewhere but I assure you yep they were all right so remember to do that fix with it we throw in the enchanted book some fish Slash clear again, so I don't accidentally throw cobblestone. We wait a minute. Our water streams will go. Our bamboo farm's going. Now the only uh, downfall to the bamboo farm is it doesn't always reach. Uh, I honestly can't help you with that. This is just how bamboo farms work. Uh, you could try a zero tick bamboo farm. That would work. So if you want to replace it with that, that would work. But yeah, everything's working. Except for the part where it's not. As you can see, it's only two bamboo. You can put coal in there too. It's fine. Yeah, some bamboo's getting trapped in the system. And I just realized something must have happened. Uh. You are now puffer fish, and you are now tropical fish. What? Did I not fix this in time? I don't know what happened. Um. All right, final, final thing, guys. This, this works. It works. I swear. Don't, don't exit the video. It works. Yeah, it works. Just how to make sure. And what I'm actually going to do here is make sure it works by taking out half of all the other items. So you need to catch a lot of stuff. Now, the book goes in along with some puffer fish and tropical fish. I heard a click very fast, meaning it didn't go through the furnace. Enchant books in. And the cod and other thing are probably just in here, right? Yep. Now what happened to the other enchanted book is what I want to know. There you are. I was wondering where you went. Okay, so. It works, I'm just bad with item sorters, guys. I should probably do this on my survival world, I guess, but, you know. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this really, really expensive AFK fish farm. You're going to need a lot of iron. If you go for this, I recommend building at least two iron golem farms uh, beforehand, depending on how efficient they are. But, yeah, make sure you have a lot of iron. Bamboo farm, you can probably make this on any bamboo farm you want. Zero tick generators, anything. I did this one simple. Does it cause that much lag? Uh, if you do <laughs> want to use hopper minecarts, you can. It is all for you. Also, I just realized why the bamboo is going into the system. It's because of this, which I'm not going to bother fix. You guys can build this all on your own. Basically, the main thing is to highlight from this build how to get the droppers to work, the item sorter, the bamboo farm, and part of what could be a giant auto smelter if I really tried. Now, I hope you all enjoyed. It, it's definitely a lot less to look at than this crazy system. Like, look, compare these two. Which one looks more impressive and less expensive? Somehow this one, to me, looks less expensive. But that's because I think I actually did use less hoppers. But messed up. Because that one doesn't fully work. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe, comment, watch my new survival series, which will be coming out soon.